Thanks. Uh, and I just wanted to point out that this is work that I've done uh, together with Martin, who's also around, so say hi. First, let me start by telling you something about QUIC. Uh, so, if you've ever clicked on this icon within the past three years or so, you've probably been using QUIC. And QUIC is a new network protocol based on UDP proposed by Google a couple of years ago. And it kind of replaces this traditional stack of having IP, TCP, TLS, and HTTP2 on top. And it, as I said, it runs on top of UDP. And then there's QUIC, and you have a small HTTP uh, API on top. And QUIC has a couple of interesting features compared to, uh, say, this traditional stack. Um, and these are just uh, three that I picked, but there's quite a few more, and you can just head to Wikipedia to find out if you're interested. Uh, Quick offers uh, zero round-trip uh, connection handshakes, which is pretty cool. So the first packet you send to the remote server is already encrypted and can already contain your HTTP request. And uh, I mean, this compares quite well to uh, TCP plus TLS's usual four or five round-trips, especially on, on, on bad uh, like cellular connections. And uh, Quick also has some advantages uh, on, on bad connections, like how to deal with packet loss and with congestion in the network. And um, one other feature that I wanted to kind of pick out here is uh, that Quick is much easier to iterate on than TCP, because I mean, tr just try changing something about TCP and see how many routers will just drop your packets on the way. Um, and this will make future progress uh, and, performing, uh, and performance on, on mobile connections much better. Um, there's a few interesting numbers from Google. Uh, introducing Quick uh, reduced the number of YouTube rebufferings, like you see up here, by around 30%, and Google Search now loads fa uh, one second faster for the slowest 1% of connections. So that's um, pretty nice, I'd say. Um, so we started uh, Quick Go uh, about half a year ago. And uh, we are now at like 10k lines of code and like something, some 14k lines of tests. And um, yeah, I mean, we're pretty done with the basic protocol. We have some, some more network tests that we want to do and, and a lot of bugs that we want to fix and everything. So yeah, but the basic protocol works. Um, there's a few interesting lessons we learned here. So first of all, network programming is really hard. There's quite a lot of edge cases, and it's really hard to deal with all of them correctly. Um, we, one of the kind of best things that helped us there is, is to have good in, a good integration test suite. So we put Chrome in a Docker and have some UDP proxy where you can simulate some kind of various network setups. And for profiling, uh, two things really helped us. Uh, so from Go 1.7 on, you can basically just use prof and, and dtrace and everything. and this kind of simplifies a few things, uh, in our opinion. And there's this amazing flame graph tool, which you can see here, which really helps uh, uh, profiling. So check it out if you don't know it yet. Um, and uh, that's basically it. If you want to try our implementation of uh, Quick, you can just run caddy with the uh, dash Quick option. So thanks to Matt uh, for uh, being very eager to uh, uh, adopt Quick here. And in your own uh, program, you can, it's kind of hard to read, but basically what you can do is replace uh, your HTTP.listen and surf TLS calls with uh, our package, HQ quick, listen and surf, and that's it. You will be able to talk quick and uh, classic uh, TLS and TCP at once. So this is our GitHub. Uh, thanks for your time. <laughs>